Well, 10 years ago, Malala made her speech at the UN. She is the UN uh, peace messenger. Um, and this time she decided on her 10 year anniversary, she wanted really to make the advocacy for education here in this country. Uh, we have a large number of out of school children. Uh, we know that the quality of education is not what every child should have in this country. Um, and the advocacy to an administration that is coming in that believes in education is an important timing. Uh, so her voice, her inspiration, uh, not just to government, but to the rest of society, to governors that we met yesterday, uh, is extremely important as this administration begin, begins its journey of the next four years. Thank you. Thank you. To celebrate my 26th birthday, since my UN speech uh, at age 16, I have been going around the world, meeting girls from different parts of the world and raising awareness about the issues that girls face. We know that there are um, more than 120 million girls who do not have access to education right now. And just as people spoke out for my education, I want them to think about the education of other girls as well. In Nigeria, I'm here because girls' education is important here. It is the It will determine the future of Nigeria. So I'm here uh, because uh, I want to bring attention to those issues. I'm here to uh, speak today as well and share my thoughts uh, with the, with the communities and uh, I was so lucky that I was able to meet girls in Abuja. I was also able to go to Borno State and meet incredible girls, visit their schools um, and also meet the education activists. It is the work of the education activists, girls and civil society and government that gives us hope that we can have a better future for uh, education of all children, especially girls here. And I was very lucky that I had the meeting with the vice president and uh, he gave us his time, he gave us his support. And uh, our ask here in Nigeria is that government, all uh, states and um, all party members make a commitment to ensure that every child in Nigeria has access to a complete education, which includes senior secondary education as well, that every child has access to a free and quality education. And the second ask is to ensure that we make the full financial commitment to ensure that no child is left behind in this country. Sorry, what? What do you want other countries to learn about the education of India children? Since I have been to Nigeria three times. I came here in 2014 to show solidarity to the Chibo girls who had been abducted and I was able to meet their parents as well. And I came here again in 2017 and I saw more of the work that activists are doing and I met girls. And I'm here again and I have seen how much has changed in the past uh, few years. And it is because of the commitment of government officials, but also the work of the civil society and education activists and the determination of girls. I was able to meet girls and hear from them directly how they are standing up for their rights. They are not remaining silent. They are um, they want a better education, they want quality education for themselves. So that is what gives me hope and that is what um, brings me here to Nigeria. And I think that tells us that the future of Nigeria is bright if we give girls a chance and if we invest in their education. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.